Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the Book Parent Effectiveness Training or PT for short. When it comes to raising children, you will encounter all kinds of problems. For example, you might be rushing to get out of the door on a rainy day, and your child is wasting time, unwilling to put on their raincoat. Or perhaps your child's room is a mess, no matter how many times you have told them to keep their room tidy. Or even just after starting middle school, your child suddenly tells you that school is boring and they don't want to go anymore. All in all, when raising children, these frustrating and exhausting problems may never end like a thousand splashes of water that eventually erode a rock. The rock being your will. So is there a way to solve these problems? Fear not, whether your child has just learned to walk is slowly gaining their independence or is a rebellious teenager, in PT Parent Effectiveness Training, you will find a series of effective parenting methods to suit any situation. They will help you to maintain smooth communication with your child, raise a responsible child and help both you and your child grow. The theories presented in this book are a simple practical training course for parents. It can help parents to train their active listening skills, fully express themselves and nurture children to be conscious in self-development. The book has been translated into 33 languages, published in over 50 countries and territories all over the world, and currently offers training courses to around 5 million parents every year. All in All PT is a highly effective parenting manual. The author of the book is Dr. Thomas Gordon, the renowned American psychologist who previously studied under the humanistic psychologist Carl Ransom Rogers. He obtained his doctorate from Chicago University where he later stayed on to teach. He was the president of the California Psychology Society and was also a consultant to the 1970 White House Conference on Children. Dr. Gordon created the Gordon Model which is known all over the world. Originally this method was used to improve parent-child relationships, but it was later developed into a general model for improving all interpersonal relationships. Now that we have given an overview of the author and basic contents of the book, let's introduce the ideas of parent effectiveness training in three parts. Part 1, How to Listen So Children Will Talk. Part 2, How to Talk So Children Will Listen. Part 3, How to Resolve Parent-Child Conflicts. We often see parents complaining about their children. Perhaps their children are getting more rebellious and less willing to communicate. Sometimes parents don't know what their children are thinking or understand why they lose their temper after barely saying a word. One 15-year-old girl after finishing her weekly counseling sessions told her counselor, It feels good to be able to talk to someone about how I really feel, I've never talked about these things with anyone else before. I could never talk with my parents like this. So, why couldn't she? Author Dr. Gordon believes this is largely due to the fact that parents haven't accepted their children. Most of the language parents use with their children is full of preaching, criticism, admonishing, and commands. They believe that when raising children they should constantly remind them what they have done wrong, and that this is the only way to prepare their children for a bright future. For example, a child might say Mom, I don't want to play with Mateo, I think he's horrible. The mother says, be nice, you've got to learn to get along with your friends. This is the usual method of communication for most parents, but when we look at it more carefully, we will find that this response is actually quite patronizing and moralizing. This communicates a lack of acceptance of the child and makes them less willing to interact with their parents. In another example, a child is making sandcastles at the beach. Can the parents just watch from the side without interfering in what the child is doing, providing help only when the child needs it? Sadly no, most parents will usually provide a few suggestions, shouldn't the sand castle be a little taller, build the castle farther from the water so a wave won't topple the castle wall. Or even, with your abilities, you can make a better sand castle than that. This will communicate the message that the child is not accepted, and not good enough. It's very difficult.